goes and does something like Beating Light today. And now he's in for a world of hurt because we already know how annoying this matchup could be. Zamba recently getting a lot of bite back from some people on a PR position. Actually, everybody's like, yo, why are you out here being his uh, well, A lot of two? folks are mad that this kid is dominating over and home. And you want to know something. When he travels to Fusion on a weekly basis, he's dominating New Jersey, too. There's a too. reason for it, man. He's out here putting in work. This Rob is so good. Even his Falcon is so good. He's got a lot of <laughs> options, but you don't need it here in this matchup because all you got to do is just continuously harass DDD to make sure he doesn't try to go for short hops with those down tilts, as we see already here. Rob does a phenomenal job of harassing aerial space versus any character in this cast. DDD is no exception. And when DDD's only proper spacing tools are well-spaced forward airs and back airs alongside Gordo, it's no match for the tools that Rob is able to bring to the table. But what DDD does have is the ability to survive for a very long time, as well as hit very hard. Yeah, and Adams has been a, doing a great job of showcasing that today. Yeah, I mean, it's not even like Adamus doesn't understand how to take this step, because if you remember, take a little time trip back to Momentus. He actually ended up beating Dill in uh, one of the matches there, where she had an incredible lead, and he was, uh, Adamus was able to bring it back. So, that is not just a free duck. Sitting here at 211, however, if you get grabbed pretty soon, as Zamba's definitely looking to try and find, that will be DDD taking a trip to the top. Or how about in there? You're going to be seeing a lot of landing there. Oh, from you're going to be offered quite a few nares. Nares are rising out here. Ooh, and reads the jump, but not enough to get the kill there. It was a really good DI for Zamba. And now the extra high recovery. It's smart, but a lot of DD's buttons are excellent anti airs, and that's exactly why we're looking at the Tide Stock game. And I'm not sure entirely, but I, the, the, a, big, a big part of what Adamus was going for there, after getting that up tilt, that jet fuel was super low. So he knew it's either Nair here or an air dodge and covering it with the up air. But right now, getting covered by Zamba, deep off stage, he's going to get the footstool. It doesn't matter, though, that's DD, <laughs> but against many other characters, that's dead. It's a bit cheeky, but you got to respect it. Hey, man, hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. If it works, every time. Yes, Granted, sir. It's a character who's got the ability to fly to the sky. It's very easy. Gonna get remixed on the up tilt into the grab. Now taking the gyro. This is where DDD does not want to be. Does not want to be staring down gyro at the ledge because normally he could just up tilt his way, uh, excuse me, up air his way out of there. Statistically speaking, you're looking at two polar opposites when it comes to the cast of Ultimate competitively. On one hand, you have a character that barely scratches statistics showing up anywhere. And, and he's making it work! All right, never mind. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that gyro coming in, just kind of poking him in the face. Both of these characters love using that projectile for incredible ledge traps. It's something you got to get used to. But these inhales, that's what we talk about all day. The com when, when Adamus is getting consistent inhales, he mixes you up on your grab so well, and that allows him to find those falling nares. Right now, might get hit by a side B. Doesn't worry about it, though, because he finds the up air. Like, a lot of the inhale pressure has been at close range when Zamba does not have a button fast enough to properly respond. Because all of those good buttons that Rob has are on the ground. All the ones in the air that you're finding huge benefit off of take quite a bit to start up before you start to have huge dividends paid in your favor. Absolutely. I mean, right now, luckily for... Look, I was about to say RJ. Shout, uh, go follow yo, RJ's DDD it, looking nice. Yo, RJ's DDD looking kind of nice out here. RJ's starts <laughs> going up. <laughs> he's, he's his hand up. I mean, look, <laughs> they might be going up right now. If he finds his up air, he doesn't get it, though. Gets the command grab, forces him to recover high. The instant gyro out of the match. Have that back, sir. I, it's disgusting. I don't want to <laughs> eat that. Blech. <laughs> How stupid that was. <laughs> ah, there's the up air. Even with the best of DI, there's nothing you could do about that at that high of a percentage. Samba gonna be taking game one. But that up air is just like 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 a cranky old man just like waving his arms at somebody on the lawn. It's like, shoo, on, shoo! Go on, get! Get in the blast! Go on, get! <laughs> get off my lawn! Get out of here! Look at him! Look at him! Yeah, it looked like Adam's DI Rob, it right. He Rob was just is, very dead. Rob is not about family parties. He's not about fun. He, he's it, just all by his own. The robotic operating buddy, my. Anyways, so <laughs> uh, getting into the follow up game here after. Uh, let's say RJ again. <laughs> Adam has got an incredible job keeping himself in it that whole game, but Zombo's able to close it out at the end, even with the heavy weight of, uh, of DDD. I feel like a lot of the adjustments that Adamus is going to have to make are micro adjustments, mm -hmm. and it's just a matter of further refining his own play, because 
you have a character like Rob, where Zamba's not only going to be able to out neutral oh you and take stage God. space, but is able to make one little mistake fatal for you. Dude, stop jumping. That's literally what he's telling him right now. Stop jumping in front of me like that. Then there's going to allow him to fast fall down. But even with that, the amount of damage yeah. he took, stop jumping in front of me. Zamba catching every single one of them and getting a perfectly executed edge guard because of it. You know, it's, it's a tall order to ask uh, King DDD to not jump because this is a character that truly thrives off of that aerial play. Exactly. You want to be in the air. You want to be. Oh, oh, you're going to be in the air. That's for damn sure. Oh, not dying. Good DI there from Zamba. The Alpair is a lot stronger nowadays. Have that back, please. That's a big laser. That's got to taste disgusting. Like, you see, like, like it's colorful, right? You guys it's got to hurt. Like, you think maybe it tastes like Skittles? No, it's going to burn. <laughs> Much like that foreigner catching him for going above the ledge. What is it out of. So far, the way that Adamisk has been able to play, that's been keeping him... Oh, never mind. It's not even wrap I thought he was going to go for a jab block there. But Adamisk has been playing it pretty solid overall. What what do you think Zamba needs to do consistently make sure that he can't get back into the game the way he has so far? That's a very hard question to answer because I feel like you start to look at the traditional fallbacks of DDD. He's big, he's slow, he takes quite a bit to start to take stage control. And as Rob, you have a lot of tools that allow you to re find reversals very easily, especially in the air where, but as I mentioned earlier, DDD is thriving. Bro, that gyro literally came in at the bottom like a whole Marvel assist and just smacked the Gordo. <laughs> I, I didn't even know it was there. Like, <laughs> Gordo turned traitor for no good reason. That is, that is hilarious. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's like, you know, I don't even want to live here no more, man. <laughs> but one of the things that I've noticed so far from uh, from Zamba that's causing him to go down here in the in this in this game where he's now facing a deficit is he's. He's kind of playing that game of he who swings first loses. He keeps going for the early defensive option, and Adamus keeps reading the roll in, keeps reading out these jumps, and right there, recognizing he wanted to go for that down air, getting the reversal. But down throw, forward air, and Adamus is capitalizing big on all of these whiffs that he's allowing him to get. You know, it's funny because both of these characters get so much off of reactionary play, but they're both trying to elicit that initial reaction. It's just that Zamba's the one who's able to find a lot more value off of these plays. That's the thing, like you just said, you said it perfectly. DDD is completely based around you doing something silly. He, what, he sets up Gordo and he sets up you by going for too many jumps on air to air. But the moment you pressure him from a distance with that great, pre like the great option of that down to up close, stop being so defensive, it works out. Tries to go for a hard like air dodge read down or something with a back air, but he doesn't work out. And now he's at kill percent here. He's got to watch out for one of these back airs. Have that back. With Gyro in hand, both of these players are very capable of just dying off of the next couple of interactions, especially as we find ourselves climbing to the ledge. And that's actually something that I really like that Adamus has been doing, is that he's been forcing a lot of the battle inwards. He's been making a lot of these interactions happen either beneath the platforms or towards center stage. Because once you start to go towards the ledge and off stage, Rob is just so impressive. Yeah, good DI coming in there from that uh, up air. Like you just said, that impressive play. He's so good at anti airs. But now we see Adamus running up, almost gets the roll read in with the back air, but he gets the nair there. He's not within range to capitalize, but he gets another roll read. Stop rolling in on me, boy. Gets him with the back air, and Adamus gets himself a game on the board. We got the 1 1 count. Bro, Robs cannot help themselves. They love rolling so damn much. Like, I got no approach tools. You got down tilt. You have short sure hop air. You got, I don't care if your dash grab ain't that good. You got options. But he expecting him. AJ, he's big. What is that hit? He's is a big hit? boy. He's That's gonna a, suffer. That is. <laughs> Hey, boo boo, I'm looking kind of big out here with my gyro. <laughs> All right, getting into game number three here. Let's see, this is a whole ass cartoon we're watching right now. We got a robot versus a giant penguin. Up tilt's gonna get him a hit and gets the. It's, it, get, these B reverse command grabs, these inhales have been hitting so much more as the time has gone on here for Adamus. It's the one thing that Rob lacks an aerial response to shield. And I think that's fantastic because. While Rob is an absolute menace on hit, mm -hmm. when it comes to shield pressure, you kind of have to hold that. He's not doing anything remarkable. And while he gets plenty off of throw in his own right, if he's not grabbing you, you don't really have to respect Rob buttons. It's a I don't know. I don't really like that down so much. But at least in this matchup, you, it, like those down tilts, it's going to set you up for hits, but it's not going to set you up for the kill. Because 
it's very hard to find that tech chase out of Adamus because all you gotta do is just kinda D up out. Wow, I am so surprised that did not hit. Dude, why does the throw animation from DDD look so mean? Did you see that yet? Like, he chucks that from under his coat. Bro, get this man a baseball contract. Get him on the Mets because we suck. <laughs> so maybe he'll do something about it. <laughs> oh, talk about New York. Can we do something about Let's go Mets. All right. I'll be love to the, the Mets, Mets, baby. <laughs> I love that meme so much. <laughs> Trying to <fu> <laughs> Trying to find the down tilt to get him up to the ledge. Let's see what happens here. Zappa just kind of parking himself over in the corner, waiting for Adamus to press the button first, and he gets caught. Oh, the parries on uh, Gyro, I think, are also really smart from Adamus. Unfortunately, that DI wasn't. Up air gives him the mix, but hopefully for Adamus, he finds his kill early enough. <laughs> oh! oh man, Chat, I appreciate all you. Thank you so much for dropping in the reference, <laughs> by the way. Hit home run, baby. Let's go. Let's go to the Mets. All right, up throw, forward air. Yep, get that consistent damage. Looking for down air. You have to respect DDD at the ledge. He's going to go for up air. You just let him get there. It's the same as when you see a Pac Man with a, uh, with a Gallo gun in hand. Leave him alone. Let him rock. They're going to do the thing. They're going to swing. When you take into consideration how valuable Gyro is as an item, you really do have to think about what your character can do with that Gyro. It's so good Ooh. to have that as a hit confirm. And your shield looking a little light after that landing. Armor's a balance mechanic. I don't want to hear it. Grapplers. He needs it. Yeah, we gonna let him rock. All right, that fair is going to catch him on the jump, but he gets caught in on the air dodge away. The Gordo coming in, dash tech pushing him out. This is still perfectly fine for Adamus for a little bit. Zamba needs to find that down throw to up fair soon. You can see Zamba, basically when he gets him the kill percent, he doesn't capitalize. And that's what I was talking about before. The down tilts are so hard to get the tech chases because he's going to run away every time. Dash tech, don't kill me. Ooh, I like that. The falling up air trying to catch, knowing that Adamus was going to try to fall as fast as he could. So I was doing his damn just to make sure that Adamus can't live at these higher percentages, but in turn, Adamus is living to practically 200% on every stop. Yeah, some, um, if you look at the play cam, sometimes you can see the body language from Zamba when it does, like he doesn't get the kill. It's like, bruh, why? But he's keeping himself calm right now. As he comes in and just lets a gyro rip and directly in front of somebody who's flying in front of you. That is danger inbound as he gets in there finally and gets a kill, but it took all the way to 200 plus to get it. And you want to know something? The Nair didn't even get it done raw. It was landing on the gyro that did it in for Adamus, but he manages to find his reversal just like that to tie up the stops, and we're just going to ride the wind. <laughs> flying off for no good reason Ooh, to start that's off a, final stocks. Yeah, that's a lot of jet fuel, but he finally finds that Nair to get in. Uh, big attempt at trying to get the tech in place maybe there with the side B, but that's a couple. You, you spin the win, spin the win. I can spin too. Spin the win's a good button. I got it too. Trying to find the inhale, maybe toss back the gyro. Now he finds the grab. Oh, big mix up on the tech in place there with the gyro. That's a lot of damage, Frank. That's big damage, and that's a really good position to be in for Adamus because when you see with just even the, the most minor percentage leads and Zama doesn't get to play his offstage, game, you know that stock is going to be chilling for a very long time. Exactly. But talking about Zamba's game, we're finding ourselves right off stage. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. He's going to try and tickle your feet with that damn giant hammer. Just leave him. Actually, Rob ain't got no feet. Never mind. But he's going to hit you with it. Let him rock. Oh, tries to find the falling up air that would have confirmed into another one. Oh, gets through with the roll. Couple down tilts. Trying to find the back air. Up air with good DI, maybe. No, no not he's good gonna DI get at all. So I'm even clutching his chest. He's like, like, I'm up the game counting now. And I almost wasn't. I'm just saying, I just got to throw this out there, all right? I just got to put this out there for all that, for all y'all real quick. Y'all see Adam is keeping his games even. Y'all got no excuse. Byleth is winning at Nationals hey, with, nice with MK Leo, okay? No, Byleth nice is out here winning. We just saw Light, after all the struggles he did, beat Meister to get himself that SmashCon win. Going down today, but that was included by the pilot here of Adamus with that DDD. Now, Zamba trying to put a stop to that. The incredible run from Adamus all day, but Zamba, for good reason, out there as number two in one of the most stacked states in the country, trying to show everybody just why. But like, Tri-State's very loud and very proud when it comes to proving that they're the best. But having the actual placements to prove it takes a bit of effort. And every member of this top eight that's from Tri-State is trying to do their damnedest to show why they're the best. I mean, you got quite a few candidates up here. We <laughs> got options. We got options, sadly. But right now, you see the aggressive approach from Adamus isn't working here on this game four. He's, well, all right, never mind. But he got, he, he was trying to go for a lot of forwarders. And finally, 
He finally finds it down here after all the other missed ones. Well, all you need is for it to connect once, especially here in what could be the last game here at Winners for You. Or hey, if at first you don't succeed, try try again. True enough, and it's key in factor that you do that too. If one, if your one of your main options doesn't work, don't fall apart. Make sure you keep at it. As we see the jump get sniped, forcing him to go high. Zamba's gonna find him at the ledge again. That time, armor coming in. Typically speaking, Animus has been doing a good job of timing it so that the armor does keep him safe in that option. He's also been doing a really good job of timing those up airs so that it occupies the space while Zamba's been on the hunt to kill with them. Yeah, his swings out of disadvantage actually have been pretty solid. Usually you expect DDD to nair quite often just to get down, but the up smash, sending him packing, capitalizing on that, and now puts him back at least in an okay spot, but not so much right now as Zamba's going on the hunt. I like the projectiles low to guarantee that you have to force Adamus to come into the stage laterally. Because he can't afford to go high or else he's going to get eaten alive by Rob Buttons. Just force the most minimal approach to resetting neutral. Oh, yeah, it's exactly. He had, he had nuke pretty good there for a second. He was getting a lot of ants here. But now a couple attempts at, the, at those inhales. Finally, we see Zamba capitalize on a tech chase into a jab lock. We see him go for it a few times. He's missed. Going straight to 4756. If he got caught by that, that would have been a side B. He wouldn't have died, but that would have been really bad for Adamus. Rob Apologist would have had to a lot to explain on that play. <laughs> they ain't no Rob Fox. They all understand the character's nuts. But right, I mean, it, Zamba also, the only one left up here doing it. Somehow does he get hit by Gyro in the forward smash right there as uh, we see Adamus swing out of disadvantage to up smash just missing to Zamba trying to uh, punch himself a ticket into one Oh, battle. that was very questionable DI with a lot of rage behind the dash attack. I'm gonna be, I mean, I'm gonna be real with you. I don't think anybody in that spot expects that dash attack. Zamba getting caught, but that up air is right in the center. I'm so surprised he DI'd that correctly because he was right in the middle. Admittedly, Adamus has been doing a good job of DI'ing the up air properly. Only getting caught out on one or two occasions throughout this entire set. Ooh, wait a minute. Frank, you got the up tilt. I mean, it's looking rough. But for the DDD believers, for Adamus believers, it's it's over. It's over. He's it's still over. got the loser's bracket. But Ladies for now, and gentlemen, it's over. <laughs> that is 3-1 in Zamba favor. He's going to be advancing <laughs> to the first half of Winner's Finals. I was trying so hard to build up some potential hope for them to say, try and give some life to him, but uh, it's, oops. Hey, listen, <laughs> realism has to kick in after a certain point, and it gets a little bleak when you start to break it down for numbers that Rob just has all the tools necessary to stuff out DDD. Now, we had some really good calls from Adamus because you just saw in the replay there, and it really is a good showing of how well Adamus can pilot this character in spite of his love-hate. At the same time though, Zama knows what works, and out of his very deep pockets of characters, there's a reason why Rob is the flagship. Mm-hmm, 100%. It's just, it's such a strong character. So look how close that was. As it's coming up, that gyro normally would bounce you right into that forward smash, but it just disappeared at the last second. This is getting up there. We have, we have questions. get up animation kept him safe from the hitbox, and because of that, Literally, his butt wasn't big enough. <laughs> so, Gyro fizzles on shield, and you just chill on block. Oh, man, this is one of the few times the skipping leg day to work on the glutes worked out for you. That time, the it's, belly coming in. He extended off the Gyro, too. Again, some hidden love between the Gyro and King DDD resulted in a lot of hope for New Jersey faithful, but... It wasn't enough on the winner's side. Do you bracket. think that Sakurai intentionally made that like a mechanic because he was struggling in all of those lunchroom fights where he uses DDD? It's like, oh, I don't it's like this. It's the little gyro. buffs. It's Yo, the ones that no one else is going to question. If that's the little buff, why didn't you attack Rob in those patches, man? That's no, no, all no, no, I'm no. saying. Everyone would have noticed. Everyone would have noticed. Got to give DDD a little bit of sauce.